hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to discuss about my experience on how i cleared the databricks certified data engineer associate certification exam and what are the materials you can refer and what is the syllabus and how what are the def concepts you need to definitely master to clear the certification and so on okay so let's jump on so first thing you need to understand is so by the time i'm making the video this certification version is version 3 it will be databricks certified data engineer associate version 3 so make sure you register for version 3 exam uh, or the latest one whenever you are trying to register for it okay and so this is an associate level exam so which is this is the first part but if you ask me the concept uh, th if you ask me the complexity of this exam i would definitely say a mod I, I would definitely keep it on moderate level because uh, it is not easy to crack again at the same time it is not too difficult as well uh, so i will keep it as the mo complexity as moderate uh, but if you are someone who is already working on the databricks world i think it might be a little bit easier for you but if you are someone if you are a beginner or someone who are trying to look for a career uh, in databricks this might be little difficult for you guys so um, uh, do not worry i'm going to share you the concepts and and few frequently asked question which will definitely help you in cracking the certification okay so first thing you need to know this are this is the syllabus all right so uh, the questions will evolve around all these modules so first we have databricks lakehouse platform elt with spark sql and python incremental data processing production pipelines and data governance you can expect the percentages of questions that is given here all right and if i want to give you uh, some details about the assessment we have 45 uh, questions it will it, it's a multiple choice questions you have one and a half hours to complete the certification and uh, yeah, it it will cost around 200 percentage data brick uh, 200 dollars uh, to register for the exam so if you uh, uh, sometimes i have seen if you are attend few data breaks events and all you might get a uh, you know offer or a 50 percentage off of the registration fee on the as uh, on the certification so you you can definitely uh, follow the databricks community to get more uh, uh, details about it or else you can even subscribe and follow me where because i regularly follow databricks and i can uh, post information about all those events regularly uh, going forward all right so next is uh, you if you want to uh, learn the concepts in detail you know if you are not only worried about cracking the certification you know i need to master all the concepts that is evolving around databricks uh, at the same time you need to crack the certification as well i would definitely suggest you to go through uh, these concepts that i that is available in this pdf okay i will share the link to all the documents do not worry so first section is databricks lakehouse platform you can definitely expect questions around data lakehouse platform you can expect a definite question around bronze silver and gold tables okay so this is a definite question and you can expect questions around uh, data play con control plane and data plane so what are the things that is present in data plane what are the elements that is present in control plane so you can definitely expect a question around that you can definitely expect a question around all purpose job cl all purpose cluster or job cluster so when on what situation do you use this cluster is something you will definite uh, something you will get questions upon and you can definitely expect a question on databricks repos you know how how uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of data repos so for what uh, concept you need to go to your git you know as few there are a few things which databricks repos does not support for what options do you go to the actual git uh, so that is another question and uh, coming to the next section uh, there's a data transformation with apache spark so you, here you can expect questions around uh, all sql concepts you know if you are if you are already aware of sql like this uh, this would be very much easy for you there the uh, you have very slight modification only but if you understand sql this should this should be more than enough uh, for you to master this particular module okay you can definitely expect a question around how to count the null values present in a column how count if works um, create a table from a jdbc connection from an external csv file and uh, you can expect questions around common table expressions 
um, so basic SQL steps you can definitely need you need definitely need to uh, master all right next we have data management with Delta Lake okay so here you can definitely expect question around acid transaction um, manage an external table are definite ones you cannot miss that you can expect at least two or three questions around managed and external tables and um, you can definitely expect question around copy into you need to understand how copy into works okay and next is next section is data pipelines with delta live tables so you need to first understand what delta live table is so i would suggest you to go through that concept and uh, uh, auto loader is another thing you need to definitely understand how what is the use of auto loader what is the use of copy into when do you use auto loader when do you use copy into so that these are the concepts that you need to definitely understand and you can definitely expect a question around like on violation drop row on violation fail on violation fail update and all okay um, and uh, moving on to the next section like workloads with workflows like you can expect questions around uh, 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 databricks jobs like what happens uh, 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 when you you know you how do you retry how, how how do you set up a retry policy in case of failure so this is a definite question you can expect a question is around alert okay and uh, ne on next section like data access with unity catalog okay so first the unity catalog might be uh, pretty much new concept so probably you need to understand the basics around what unity catalog is and um, uh, you, uh, you need to understand basics about data governance how de data governance evolves around in databricks okay so uh, if you understand that that would be more than enough uh, if uh, for you to uh, to crack the questions around unity catalog okay and yeah th this if you master all these concepts you you can definitely score more than 80 percentage in the certification exam but you know if you are someone who, who you know who are not ready to prepare if you think if you if these concepts are very much difficult for me you know i cannot go to the documentation and read one by one what uh, alternative what i can suggest is there are couple of udemy courses that would be really helpful for you to crack the certification okay i pre personally prefer these two uh, certification uh, these two courses because i prepared this only and most of the questions were around that okay but one thing you need to clearly notice the uh, there will be not straightforward questions from the practice exam so both these courses have practice exams so the questions will not be directly from the practice exams the questions will be little twisted okay the questions are similar but the options uh, and other things are little twisted so you need to clearly understand the concepts so that is my very um, that is my uh, greatest suggestion okay so you need to definitely understand the concept to crack the certification do not blindly uh, you know mug up the answers and try to uh, go because definitely the questions will be twisted so the first uh, course that I, am, I will suggest is data prick certified data engineer associate preparation which is uh, given by derar hallosain so you can search by the name derar hallosain so this is a very nice uh, uh, course which is which clearly details about all the basic level of information that you need to know for data for data bricks especially for this particular certification okay you can see all the concepts here like uh, he has covered very uh, he has given very clear explanation about all the five modules that is especially required for the certification and if you go through all these things that should be more than enough okay and i would suggest you to definitely go through this and at the last you will have a uh, you will have five practice exams okay so if you crack if you, you know, practice all those practice certification exams that would be more than enough okay you can definitely expect more than 60 to 70 percentage of questions from this particular uh, uh, practice exams you know even more than 70 percentage of questions will come around it mm, but if you understand the question and the uh, options around it the options will be little twisted so if you understand the concept it will be very easy for you to crack the certification okay so i would definitely suggest you to try this uh, course um, and also the practice exams okay you can take that practice exam multiple times so even if you do not clear it on the first attempt you can uh, try multiple attempts which will actually help you to crack the certification okay 
and next certificate next courses you can see another other courses data big certified data engineer associate exam guide okay this is some prepared by ankit and vijay okay you can refer to this course this is again very much useful uh, again this is this also covers all the basic details about the uh, you know data bricks uh, certification course like you, you can see you can see the concepts around data bricks cluster notebooks lake house platform okay this is also very nice course and i have gone through these two courses which are really beautiful for you to understand okay and again at the end of the course you will have couple of practice exams if you practice if you uh, practice all these seven practice exams you, uh, you you can definitely crack this do not go to the certification without trying this practice exams because trust me all this all the most of the questions will be from this seven practice uh course only and there is another document also uh, documentation from the databricks uh website which i will share you uh, in a in couple of minutes which will be uh, very useful for you too so if you crack this all eight uh, things uh, um, all eight practice exams you can definitely um, crack the certification okay so this is the next course i would suggest next is a practice exam uh, that is actually provided by databricks uh, community itself so you can download it from the databricks site uh, no, do not worry i will share the link through that so you you definitely need to practice all these questions so if you crack if you go through all these questions one by one again it is more than enough for you to crack the certification and the next information that i want to share is like this is a basic guide about uh, oops okay this is the same one so do not worry so we can ignore this this is the same one as the second one which i showed so you, this this is a guide for you to master all the concepts that is evolving around the certification and finally i want to share you few some questions or some information that found on the internet which might be useful for someone okay uh, i uh, this is a version 2 uh, questions but again uh, in, uh, the questions are updated and the certification is version 3 right so but i found it very useful this kind of th uh, these questions might be very much common or uh, common question that is asked in version 3 as well okay you can expect a question around vacuum and merge what is the use of vacuum and merge optimize command and um, you can expect a question around web application is a part of where it, is it a control plane or data plane and what needs to be done outside the data bricks repo is it a push pull commit clone what are the uh, stuffs that is not allowed by data bricks repo you can expect a question around it you can expect a question around merge you can expect a question around wizard order and what is the pra processing time okay he has given few hints so if you if you go through the practice exams you will definitely find all these questions there okay so you need to definitely master the seven practice exams in fact eight practice exams which will definitely help you to crack the certification so uh, this is an additional uh, stuff you can uh, refer to actually improve on your skills okay um, so you can refer to this particular question set uh, question set fr uh, uh, from the github as well okay so this is what i want to cover as part of this video guys so you can definitely go through this course and uh, you can definitely go through all these uh, these couple of courses on udemy which will definitely help you and uh, the practice exam here uh, this one as well i got few questions from this practice exam during my certification so and if you are if you are still uh, you know uh if if you are someone who do not have access to udemy or if you are worried about uh, the subscription and all do not worry i have few for frequently asked questions that i have personally documented so if you re if you really need that uh, frequently asked questions you can ping me on my insta channel i will give that link on the description i will try to reply you as soon as possible all right So that's all what I want to cover as part of this video guys if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel for more interesting videos like this thank you